Serious, hey Reddit, what's something medically cool unique about your body? I had 6 wisdom teeth. I joked to my dentist about how wise I must be, and he said you're just really unevolved. I, I have beaded hair. Everyone's hair is coated in a layer of protein, but in my hair that protein is constricted in certain places, making each stand look like it's covered in little beads. You don't notice it when you look at me, but if you're really examining my hair closely you will. Hairdressers often comment on it and will call other hairdressers over to look at it because it's rare. If I clench my butt cheeks hard enough, I can crack my lower back. I had several organ transplants so none of my organs are in the correct spot. I also don't have a gallbladder because they just didn't put it back while operating near it. I have a bifid uvula, which means my uvula, the hangy thing at the back of your throat, isn't completely formed and is split in two ends instead of one. Basically it looks like I have throat balls. I'm currently on my third set of wisdom teeth. I've had the surgery to remove them twice, but they keep growing back. Found the shark. I have four functioning kidneys. Not to brag, but I have an undescended testicle, which resulted in me getting a prosthetic ball when I was 16. It's rock solid and does not at all look feel like a normal testicle, as the doctors told me it would. In fact, 10 plus years later it's always uncomfortable and I wildly regret it. All it did was made girls ask what was wrong with me. The complete adverse impact of what I was looking for. Thanks, doctors. I'm 31 and on my third pacemaker. First one was placed in 2003 when I was 18. I've got a cool scar, and you can feel the battery under my skin. Also, I travel a lot, so I have to carry this handy card with me so it's our foreign equivalent won't make me go through the metal detectors. I have nocturnal epilepsy. I will be on the onset of sleep when my brain decides to go all out and convulse. Had three sets of front teeth. My sweat is corrosive. I can rot the back off a cheap watch in 4 months. My watch and jewelry are titanium. Two of my three children are likewise afflicted, but not as bad as me. I have JME, juvenile myoclonic epilepsy and my seizures are synced up with my period. Yup, so growing up it took us like 2 years to figure out why my period symptoms were so bad and included bedwetting whenever I started my period. Turns out it wasn't bedwetting. It was grand mal seizures in my deep sleep, but only the first and second day of my period are the wonders of the human body. I once managed to break my jaw in such a unique way that I became a case study at the local medical university. I fell off my bike and landed square on my chin. Instead of breaking somewhere in the middle, my jaw broke out the hinges. As a kid it was awesome though. Lots of ice cream and pudding for a month or so. Even though I was wearing a helmet I almost died. A small sliver of my iris runs across my pupil. My doctor said it was the only time he had seen it and that it's so small that it doesn't affect my vision. I have no large intestine. Got it taken out about 4 years ago because it was being a dong. I have a bunch of titanium plates in my face. Luckily the surgeon was great. People who've known me for years can't even notice any difference in my appearance. I have a twin sister and we are mirror twins. I'm right handed. She's left handed. ETC. We both have scoliosis and hers curves to the left while mine curves to the right. I can dislocate my left shoulder at will. I don't though because when I was a child the orthopedic consultant said that it was bad for the joint and I shouldn't do it even if the queen asked me to. So far this eventuality has never arisen. I have Ayla's Danlis, which makes me very flexible. In middle school, I did the school talent show as the human pretzel. I can put my legs behind my head, or cross my legs Indian style and get up and walk on my knees. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that stretching my body this way was doing damage to veins in my neck and ended up having a stroke at 27. Different sized pupils since birth. Not a symptom of anything as some might think, just an unusual feature. I have little calcified spots all over the inside of my lungs from when I had chicken pox as a kid. They are harmless, but they show up on x-rays and most doctors don't have a clue what they are. The pulmonary specialist that diagnosed them asked if she could keep the x-ray films to show med students because it was so rare. Apparently I was born with extra tendons in my knees. 
Found this out when I had surgery on my knee. Watched the surgery video with my doctor. Me. What's that? Doctor. Oh. A tendon. Video shows him snipping it and sucking it up. Me. Um. What? Doctor. It was an extra one. You didn't need it. I have leaky blood vessels in my legs. The tiny drops of blood that leak out kind of make it look like I have a mild sunburn on my legs. It's called Schamburg's disease. Sometimes I like to tell people that I have a rare, incurable disease, they automatically think it's something tragic, but nope, it's just leaky blood vessels. I used to donate plasma and was told I have some sort of super measles immunity. Apparently this is usually only found in people who had measles as a child. They tested my plasma a bunch of times, and then asked for my consent to turn it into medication for people whose immune systems are too compromised for a traditional measles vaccine. It made me feel like a mini superhero. When I was a toddler I had a hernia and my intestines went into my bowel sac making my balls humongous. My dad was changing me one day and noticed it and thought I don't think they are supposed to be that big, so I was a big bald baby for a bit. I'm hemochromatic. I don't get rid of iron like I should so left and treated I would eventually die. But the treatment is easy. I donate blood. And my body uses up the excess iron to make new blood. I have a prescription so I can donate every 30 days. I have a huge collection of those free t-shirts they give out for donating blood. Iron Man. The superhero patients actually need. I can breath out of my ear. Try this my putting my entire head underwater other than the ear. While it's not a lot of oxygen, it's enough to make me live I guess. I had holes in them as a baby and had tubes put in there, which didn't work apparently. It's not really an issue, so a, eh, just a mutant power I guess. I have a genetic blood mutation that makes malaria my B. Uneven number of ribs, extras on the left, actually forgot about it until I lost 40 pounds. I have ulcerative proctitis. You've probably heard of ulcerative colitis but my condition only affects the first 6 inches of my anus. As such I have to take a suppository nightly that puts a thin coat of wax over the inside of my butthole so I don't crap blood. What's cool about that? Well farting when you have wax in there is a very delicate procedure. So after years of doing this I have incredible control over my farts. I can change pitch intensity, loudness, and all of this insanely easily. My butthole is like a finely tuned machine and farting for me is like creating a symphony. Hearing loss. I was diagnosed when I was 4. Turns out AIDS cost a lot more than glasses. My current ones actually have a bluetooth connection to my phone so I can listen to music while it's in my pocket. Extra bone in my foot. Nothing protruding or anything. It's on the bottom and all it does it make my foot hurt all the time. I have a cornea from somebody else stitched onto my eye. I don't have upper sinuses. No idea why. They just never grew in. As far as I can tell there are no downsides. I don't get sinus infections up there. I don't have drainage or pressure up there. Which sounds disgusting by the way. And ninjas can't kill me by punching my nose bones up into my brain. On and I almost never get headaches. Or brain freeze. Seriously, you normals should get yours filled in, they sound terrible. My sister and I are some of the first kids to be born using in vitro fertilization and implantation. We have the same biological father and the same surrogate mother. So our dad is our biological dad but my mom isn't my biological mom because she's had a hysterectomy. Anyway, they wanted kids and hired a surrogate and my sister was made through basically a turkey baster of my dad's spunk shoved up the surrogate's vag. My mom laughs when she tells the story because she felt like it was a drug deal. They would meet Karen the surrogate at a hotel and drop off this little brown bag with a cup of my dad's jizz and then Karen would try to get Prigo. And she did. Happened fast. My sister was born first and Kane Chung was at her birth. I was made in a test tube with sperm and eggs that had been frozen when my sister was still being created. They thawed that crap and put it together and mixed it and watched me grow into a little thing and then jammed me into Karen's uterus where it took over the work. Kane Chung was not at my birth. This happened back in the late 80s so it was kind of a big deal that sisters with the same biological parents were made through different ways of artificial impregnation. Other than that I'm pretty normal. No weird health issues or anything. I don't have depth perception. 
This means I see the world kind of like a TV screen. Everything is in 2D. It's kinda hard to explain because I've never seen normally and I don't even know how you regular people see the world. It's not super debilitating. I can drive if I leave a huge following distance between my car and the car in front of me. Under good conditions. I can even catch things thrown at me although I've never been good enough to do things like actually play basketball. I can still kinda gauge distance the same way you would in a video game I guess. Just not super quickly. The most annoying thing though is sometimes I'll be reaching for a door handle for a car or my house and I'll just jam my hand super hard into the door. I've even broken super thin doors just because I missed the handle. Inverted nipples. They go in and out and originally made me so insecure I wouldn't be naked in front of people until 19 but people seem to love it. I'm not looking to correct them either. When I was 2 years old, I tripped and a nail pushed my left incisor tooth up into my gums. It sat there until I was 11 years old which then it came down over about 3 weeks and popped out. My adult tooth is just fine. In fact, I never needed braces. In the womb my 13th and 7th chromosomes switched places. Doctors say I should have had Down syndrome, but I ended up just being your run of the mill awkward boy. Take that, DNA. I have situs inversus, a condition in which all my internal organs are on the opposite side from the usual. Didn't even know till I was around 10. I have pectoral aplasia, or Poland syndrome as some may know it. This means I was born without a pectoral muscle on the right side of my chest. A quick google image search should give you a good idea of what it looks like. Tried surgery that took tissue from elsewhere and put it in my chest but the minimal gains were not worth more. Painful surgeries and recovery times. I'm happy to be as nature intended and the right person will come to me. I have a dip in my chest. Kind of like a dent. Makes my chest look bigger. I have 92 chromosomes. Two complete sets of DNA. Effectively making me a chimera. I'm not sure how unique this is, but my so and I discovered a spot on my back that, when it's pressed, makes me have an orgasm. In my middle back, just to the side of the spine. I seem to have a bit of a broken needle in my right arm. My mother claims it's from when I jerked really hard during one of my toddler vaccinations. The nurse didn't believe it was possible and walked out of the room. About a week later it started to fester a bit and my mom tried to dig it out but it was too deep for her to retrieve. We spent most of my childhood without insurance and I haven't been in the hospital since I was born. So it's never been x-rayed proven one way or the other. Today as a 30 something I have a small scar on my right arm. And if you pinch in just the right place something about the size of a long single thorn can be felt. You have been spotted by the rare flying floofer. If you comment good boy below he don't steal your hot dogs anymore. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.